Hello and welcome to this week's Faith and Friends. So as we do each and every week, we have some mm -hmm. special things for you. And we're glad you are with us this week. Well, we are really looking forward to things coming up. And uh, it's, it's a special week. We aren't calling it just a special day. It's a special week. <laughs> Mother's Day week. Happy Mother's Day all week long to all the mothers out there. But we think it's important to celebrate mothers every week. <sighs> <laughs> Have you cleaned up the mess in the kitchen after the kids got done making? That's up to the kids. Crepes. You know, that's their that's responsibility. That's their way to be nice right? for Mother's Day. Right. <laughs> Anna's room is very clean right now, so we'll take that as a win. <laughs> what do you She's do got the mother? smiley face sticker on her <laughs> job chart then. Yes, well, exactly. For my mother? Yes. It's actually, I'm, I'm realizing some of the benefits of being married now. Because now, my, I have four brothers, so my mom has always had all boys. And so now she has a daughter-in-law who's planning wonderful things for Mother's Day. Oh, wow. And I only have to provide my love, and she <laughs> does all the craftiness. Now you do realize you need to do something for your mother-in-law now, too. Oh, yeah. That's, I think, in the works What would well. you like, Jennifer? <laughs> <laughs> There's a you know bag what? from he just Duncan's blesses Diamonds me back every here. single day. <laughs> oh, oh <wow>. hey. <laughs> I try. Every day. No, we've got <laughs> things in store, and just like we have things in store for today's show here, on Faith and Friends, we have some special assignment reporters to give us an account of the recent crazy hair oh, wow. event, the tour that came to Lima. Also, Jennifer has an in-depth interview with an area pastor as they discuss the current attempts to redefine marriage. And get your racing shoes on, some 5K races coming up this week with very worthy causes. But of course, first we're gonna start our time with some scripture, Jennifer. Well, in honor of mothers everywhere, we're celebrating them all week long, and this scripture is designed to encourage them because I happen to know from personal experience that mothering isn't always easy. But even in the toughest days, God is there for us. So let's take a look at Psalm 128, verses 1 through 8. I look up to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He won't let your foot slip. He who watches over you won't get tired. In fact, he who watches over Israel won't get tired to go to sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is like a shade tree at your right hand. The sun won't harm you during the day. The moon won't harm you during the night. The Lord will keep you from every kind of harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your life no matter where you go, both now and forever. And I can tell you from personal experience that that verse that talks about God not being tired is very helpful for mm. mothers, especially when you have a bunch of little kids and you're getting yeah. no sleep and you're trying to get everything done. Um, I guess mothering is a bittersweet profession. Absolutely. Some, some reassuring words from David there in the, the book of Psalms, something we can all use from time to time. No question about it. Well, sometimes moms can feel a little crazy with all the pressures on them in today's culture, but recently a special event brought mothers and daughters together as well as a few very interesting <laughs> hairstyles. I see that you might be I, going in that direction. This isn't quite as crazy as some <laughs> of the ones that I've seen. Uh, it is the Secret Keeper Crazy Hair Tour that we're talking about. And while there's a lot of fun and craziness involved, the true message is for area teens and tweens to understand who they are in Christ. We have some very special reporters from this event. Jennifer and her two of, her two of her daughters attended the fun event, Grace and Abby Beck. They're going to bring us to this week's OIO in the Community segment. Hi, I'm Abby. And I'm Grace. And we're at the Secret Keeper Crazy Hair Tour. The Secret Keeper Crazy Hair Tour has been making its way across the United States. And on Friday, May 1st, it stopped right here in Lima, Ohio. Dozens of girls and their moms, grandmas, aunts, and friends gathered together at Lima Community Church. And yes, there was some crazy hair in attendance. Crazy hair was just the start. Team leaders Susie and Charmaine say this event really brings out excitement in all who attend. <laughs> Lots of crazy hair. <laughs> we have a pink and blue showdown. I love every like all the games and stuff we do. I would think one of the coolest things about the show is that <laughs> the girls get so loud, we often exceed uh, the noise level of a uh -huh. rock concert. <laughs> but while fun it was, and yes, the screaming was loud, there was a lot more to this event than just fashion shows and games. Everyone at Secret Keeper wants to see girls grow up and know who they are in Christ. This event had a very important message of value and self-worth. So let's read our key verse for the Crazy Air Tour. If I acted crazy, I did it for God. 
Christ's love has moved me to such extremes. His love has the first and last word in everything we do. 2 Corinthians 5, 13 and 14. What's really cool about Secret Keeper Girl is that they take really foundational and basic truths that are foundational for anyone and put it on the little girl's level to where she can understand it. If, if I acted crazy, why are you acting crazy? Well, I did it for God. As Christians in this world, we're supposed to be different, we're supposed to be unique, and we're not supposed to be just like everyone else. Susie and Charmaine told us time and time again that it's okay to be different from the crowd because God designed each one of us specially. We are unique girls by design. Some love sports, others love dancing. But all of us were called to love Christ and live for Him. The Secret Keeper Crazy Hair Tour is recommended for girls ages 8 through 12, and it's a joint event, meaning moms should come with their daughters. There's a very good reason why. It's just a great opportunity to spend time with my daughters and for them to learn about how God made them so special and not to worry about the little things like how they look and trying to fit in. It's just a great opportunity for us. We are very thankful we got to attend the Crazy Hair Tour, where we were taught that it's okay to be crazy as long as we are being crazy for Jesus. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Was that fun, Grace? Yeah, now back, back to you. you. I tell you, Zach, these reporters are getting younger and younger every day. <laughs> What a great job they do, though. Absolutely. I think they had a lot of fun. and Just like the Crazy Harry event staff said, it got a bit loud there. Did you know that the no that noise can be one factor that enhances hearing loss? Hearing loss is certainly no joke, and for many it's easy to not even realize how much they are not hearing. Hmm. Well, May is Better Hearing Month, and on May 19th, you're invited to come to TV44 for a free hearing screening. Our special hearing screening event is from 11 to 3 on Tuesday the 19th. No appointment is needed. Screenings are courtesy of Wise Hearing in Lima. That's right. For more information, give us a call at 419-339-4444. Again, that's free hearing screenings available to you May 19th here at TV44. No appointment is necessary. Just come anytime between 11 and 3. If you've been watching the news, then you know that late last month, the Supreme Court started discussing a case that involves the definition of marriage. They're expected to issue a ruling in June. And what is the definition of, of a marriage and how could a change in that definition impact our culture and your freedoms as a Christian? Well, Jennifer talks with Pastor Corey Shankleton about this issue, as well as the new documentary, Light Winds, how to overcome the criminalization of Christianity. Jennifer. Thank you. You know, the definition of marriage is definitely a topic that's being heard almost daily, locally, nationally, internationally, and things that are taking place in the courts right now could very well have an impact on how you and I live our lives for the rest of our lives and how our children grow up and what their lives are like. Well, I am joined now by Pastor Corey Shankleton of Emerging Streams Church in Stryker, and we're going to talk about this uh, ongoing effort, I guess, to change the definition of traditional marriage. Thanks for joining us today, Corey. Thank you for having me. Well, let's first talk about um, not long ago, just a couple weeks ago, the Supreme Court heard uh, they, they arguments in regards to uh, several cases, and uh, now they're in the deliberations period. So let's talk about what's been taking place in Washington. Absolutely. Uh, you know, one of the things I think we need to understand is that um, defining or redefining marriage, is, 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 it's, it's really a nonsense thought. Uh, we don't have the right to redefine something that we didn't define to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, however, in Washington right now, I, I was very encouraged uh, hearing the reports that were coming out of the Supreme Court's or arguments. Uh, I believe Justice Kennedy, who typically is a swing vote in issues like this, uh, expressed a hesitancy to uh, redefine the institution of marriage. Uh, and as he kind of stated, uh, over an argument that's only been around for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, this issue is kind of came to the forefront about 10 years ago. We understand that it's, uh, it's not about the individual who's uh, pr uh, practicing a lifestyle, but it is about an agenda. And uh, many people with uh, finances kind of got behind this and brought it to the forefront. And so I think there's hope. I think there's great hope for us as believers uh, to see a good ruling come out of the Supreme Court if we act now and make our voices heard. So the, uh, the, the justices 
you know, some of them were, were quite bold in saying, what would this matter? How is this going to hurt people? But yet on the other side, there were, like you said, uh, Justice Kennedy was making comments about how, how recent this has been to try to make these changes. Um, America, do you think that Americans in general are remembering how these votes are going? Not all states have voted for same-sex marriage. Yeah, yeah I, I believe um, that most of America stands with a biblical definition of marriage. And we've seen that over and over and over again when states are given the opportunity to put this on the ballot. Uh, very few states have passed this um, by a ballot initiative. Most of this has been activist judges. Um, you know, talking about that, we have on the Supreme Court two justices who really should have recused themselves from this case. Both of them have performed same-sex marriages. And so they're obviously not biased. Um, uh, reports say that um, uh, Justice uh, Ginsburg actually stated she'd made up her mind before the case even was mm -hmm. presented. And so we need to understand that this is an activist judge's opportunity, or acting out, speaking out, um, um, pushing things through. But as an American people, I still believe we stand with biblical marriage. Well, let's, we'll talk a little bit about what we as Americans or you know Christians can still be doing. But before the uh, Supreme Court was arguing these cases, just a couple days before, you were you were on the Capitol steps. Tell us what you were doing. Yeah, actually, we were on uh, the steps of the Supreme Court Monday, uh, um, prior to them hearing the opening arguments on Tuesday. So the 27th, we were on the steps of the Supreme Court, and we presented them with over 300,000 uh, restrained the judges' orders. Uh, which was essentially restraining orders based on a constitutional right um, that uh, the Congress has the ability to restrain the judges from ruling in arguments uh, that they don't see in alignment with, consti with their constitutional rights. And so we had over 300,000 um, and 60 boxes filled with mm -hmm. 5,000 each lined up on the, state of the, or on the steps of the Supreme Court uh, making our case that America, especially Christian Americans, are not uh, going to sit by silent why judges take it upon themselves to, re to redefine something that they have no business defining in the first place. Well, something else that is stating that case somewhat and is now available publicly is a new documentary, and it's called Light Winds. And you're going to have an opportunity actually to see that right here on TV 44 next week. This very week, it's being shown publicly in the Lima area. And let's talk about this documentary, Light Winds, How to Overcome the Criminalization of Christianity. Yes. Um, you know, I believe it's one of the most jam-packed, truth-oriented films that uh, we as believers have the opportunity to, to, to watch and to get. A lot of Christians, I think, are kind of intimidated by this issue. Uh, they don't know what to say. They don't know where to stand. Most of us have uh, been touched in some personal way uh, with the issue of homosexuality and, and same-sex marriage. And so we just don't know what to say. Uh, this documentary actually goes through every step of society. It goes economically, physically, um, uh, biblically. It goes through every sphere of society and begins to make the case for why a biblical definition of marriage is the only healthy biblical stance that we can take as a society. So when people watch this, what can they expect to see? Um, who, who, who's, who to give me an idea of the type of people that they'll see. They have anyone from Dr. Dobson to um, Bill Johnson to former Secretary of State Kenneth Blackwell, um, ambassadors, medical doctors. They have, it, it's essentially um, the lady Janet Porter who produced this gathered the who's who in every field and begin to ask them why this matters in their particular field. And so they'll see representation from the legal association, they'll see representation from the medical association, they'll see pastors, they'll see um, um, Christian leaders, they'll see uh, political leaders, uh, Ted Cruz is in there uh, along with Rand Paul, and all of them, Mike Huckabee, all of them making the case for why biblical matter ma marriage matters. Mm -hmm. And your church is also included in this as cited as a, a healing location, or tell me, tell me about that. Yes, emerging streams. Um, I, I, I myself had been involved in the lifestyle in my early eight, um, late teens, early twenties, and so I'm not talking as one uh, that doesn't have an understanding or a mm -hmm. compassion in this area. I understand what it means to be trapped, and so, but I also understand what it means to walk into the light of God's word and God's truth, and the understanding that God has uh, greater plans than what we think we can have for ourselves. Because you are married today. I am married today family. with five beautiful children. <laughs> so yes, so we're very, uh, we, we're very blessed in our family and we're blessed that God um, shown us his truth. 
and, and allowed us to come into that. And so in doing that, we present that in the, in the video and we also op open our, our doors to anyone in the lifestyle that is uh, struggling, uh, that wants answers, that wants to hear the other side. One of the things we noticed when we did the, um, the um, meeting on the Supreme Court steps was there was four or five people that were in the, former, in the lifestyle formerly who spoke. And um, afterwards, the press wasn't interested in talking to any of us. Hmm. They, they talked to uh, some of the politicians, they talked to some of the lobbyists, but one of, the, one of the things that has been put out there is that we don't exist, that it's impossible. See, once you begin to move the issue of marriage from a, a born issue to a choice issue, the entire arguments of same-sex marriage become unraveled. And so once you make the case or once you discover, hey, there are people that have actually walked out by God's grace mm -hmm. and have actually made a choice, then all of the arguments begin to unravel. So mainstream media, in a lot of ways, they don't want that, that, that position made known. They don't want to put it out there. Pastor Corey, what would be your recommendations to those who are sitting at home and saying, I want to, I want to peacefully make a difference. I want to step in and say and do something without causing, uh, you know, we don't want hatred to be Absolutely. what this is about. We want God's love to Absolutely. be the thing. Absolutely, and that's one of the things we have to understand is that we're, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Uh, we wrestle this in a spiritual context. We understand also that there is a difference between an individual and an overreaching agenda. And so we're going and we're, we're confronting an agenda while loving an individual. And so that, that's, that's vital. And so a couple of steps that I would recommend is number one, there is a movement out there. You can go on the web to restrainthejudges.com um, and let your voice be heard. That's essentially saying uh, we want biblical marriage. We, we're not going to go for any other redefining of marriage. And we're asking the Supreme Court and also the House and the Senate to stand with biblical marriage. And so restrainthejudges.com, they can go there and let their voice be heard. Also get, get the documentary, um, become armed. You know, um, A lot of people are not familiar with all of the biblical reasons why marriage is important. And obviously that's where we stand. But there's so many other areas as well, as we mentioned earlier, politically, economically, uh, physically, why, why biblical marriage is a, the only healthy environment in which mm -hmm. children should be reared, mm -hmm. that it is a very foundation of our society. And so get the documentary, get, get armed with truth, and begin to get engaged, engage their neighbors, engage their church, engage their society, and stand. You have any encouragement for uh, individuals who might say, well, it's difficult to step out. It, it, we, are, we are becoming the minority in voice, in a sense, because those who, who are f supporting this change in, in the definition of marriage are very loud, and um, they let their voice be heard. How do we encourage people to, to step up even when they feel like they might feel squashed by what they want to say? Well, I think the greatest encouragement is this, greater is he who's in us than he that's in the world. And so we're grateful for that. We understand that it's not in our own might, it's not in our strength. Uh, our best efforts are never sufficient and enough. But when you couple that with truth and the grace of God, all of a sudden it accomplishes things that there's no way we can accomplish in our own ability. And so we understand that this is not an easy journey. But know this, that if we don't speak up now, the journey's not going to get any easier. The, the, the by title of the, the documentary is How to Overcome the Criminalization of Christianity. And that's literally what we're looking at. Uh, if marriage is redefined by the Supreme Court, we will instantly be faced with understanding that same-sex marriage will be a protected civil right. And therefore, every church and every Christian business will be, be required by law to participate in those unions. All right, Pastor Corey Shankleton talking about the documentary Light Winds, How to Overcome the Criminalization of Christianity. You will be able to see that right here on TV 44 all next week. If you receive our newsletter, then you can find out more information about that. We have that as a main article in our most recent newsletter. The Times and more information about that are, are there as well. Of course, if you have any questions on this topic, questions at all or just some comments, you're welcome to give us a call here at the TV station 419 339-4444. And don't forget, our prayer line is available for you as well, and we are always praying for you. Whatever the situation is doing in your life, if it's your own family situation, if it's something you've had in the past, if it's something you're, somebody's struggling with, if you, if you have questions, if you want prayer, 
email us at prayer at WTLW.com or call us at 419-339-3000. If you get a voicemail, leave a message. Those messages come straight through, and I promise we will call you back if you leave your phone number. If you don't leave your phone number, we will be praying for you. All right, back to you. Well, thank you, Jennifer. You can watch Light Winds here on TV44 all next week. It will air during the normal Faith and Friends times, and an all-new Faith and Friends show will return May 24th. In case you have not heard the news, we want to update you on the John Hagee Coming Ministries program, which we are pleased to say is night. back here on TV44. You can watch John Hagee Mondays through Fridays at 7 p.m., as well as Sunday mornings at 7 a.m. Of course, that Faith and Friends previously aired during that time, that's now going to be at 8.30 right after the Andy Griffith Show. And when it comes to John Hagee, we want to say thank you for your thoughts and comments these past couple of weeks, let us, letting us know just how important the program is to you. We appreciate your patience as we work to find an alternative method of receiving the program after the satellite source was lost. Like most of the programs here on TV44, John Hagee Ministries does not pay for its airtime. So we ask you to keep our financial needs in prayer as we prepare for the summer season, which <laughs> traditionally means a decline in financial giving. Your financial support aids in airing programs like John Hagee Ministries possible. Well, your financial giving also provides an opportunity to bring you special movies. And we have another great one coming your way on Saturday the 16th. It's called The Prodigal. Amber Chambers brings us a preview in this Movie Minute. I'm excited to invite you to join me May 16th at 10.30 p.m. for a special feature we call The Prodigal. We'll watch the Stewart family as they make tough choices that we all face. Elton, the head of the household, has trouble genuinely living for the Lord since he's become a burnout business executive. Then there's also Elton's wife, Anne, who finds her book club fascinating while Mr. Riley Windham, the host of the book club, finds Anne fascinating. There are two sons, um, Greg and Scott, the, the Stewart sons, who couldn't be more different. Although they are bonded through brotherhood, Greg chooses to pursue fame and fast cars and pretty girls, while Scott reminds us that living for the Lord is more incredible than anything the world has to offer. I'm reminded throughout this movie of 2 Corinthians 13.5, where scripture tells us to examine ourselves to see if we are in the faith. We can put on a mask and pretend to be a good Christian, or we can choose to take up our cross and follow him. To find out what the Stewart family decides, join me May 16th at 10.30 p.m. for The Prodigal. Thank you, Amber. Sounds like a really great movie. So thankful for all these movies that we've been able to air lately on TV44. Okay, guys, are you ready? No. Get out your running shoes. I have my running mug. Do you actually run with that mug and hot coffee? That I would am not more be a good talented idea. than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Sounds like a detriment. To Sounds how someone might trip and almost fracture her elbow. <laughs> no comment. How is that elbow? By the female <laughs> sitting here who did that. <laughs> well, I am back in my fair running form. My elbow is healed. I now tie my shoes quite a bit better than I did before. <laughs> You're not running with coffee. And a rabbit I want goes the around three the hole of you to commit through. to more exercise with me, and I've got two opportunities coming up this weekend. I will say no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I need to hear more information before I agree to this. I chase kids commitment. around. That's exercise. There are two 5K races this coming weekend, and both support worthy ministry causes. There's a good reason, guys. You should mm. run, run for Jesus. The first is the Aruna <laughs> Run. Registration for this 5K race starts at 7:30 in the morning at Community United Methodist Church on 2600 Zermelay Road in Shawnee. The race starts at 9 o'clock. The registration fee goes to help free women from human trafficking. For more information, call 419-733-0985. Great cause there. The other 5K race taking place that same day benefits Young Life. It's registration and starting location in Lima at the YMCA, 345 South Elizabeth Street. That race also begins at 9 a.m. Money raised benefits the local Young Life organization. To learn more or to register, visit AllianceRunning.com. Even if you guys don't run, we'll pray I for will the still think you're my friends. <laughs> Are you going to do the double, even though they start at the same time? I was wondering how. If, you She's going to run from one 5K and not stop and continue to the other 5K. That would be I mean, like it's 6K. about 5K between Shawnee, Shawnee. And, and downtown Lima. Perfect. So that, yeah. maybe make your own and you can donate money to both. Well, if That's you're a not a idea. runner, but rather plan to spend your Saturday spring cleaning, then it's time to think about the TV44 auction. You know, it's already 
in mid-May, and we are starting to get items in for the auction coming up in September, and it's, it's never too early to start thinking about that. Is there anything I can put on my head this week? <laughs> I got gift certificates. I can put those on my I head. I have food. I think in finishing oh. school they put the gift certificate on the head so you walk straight. Is that the way that works? Yeah. Oh, I can try that. Have you ever seen? Oh, never mind. <laughs> 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 what gift certificates do you have there, Jennifer? Well, I have the Mad Ants. The Mad Ants, just off their uh, championship yeah. title run. run. Season. Yeah, runner yeah. up. I have Shed's Aquarium in Chicago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. I have the African. How do they get all the hair out of the aquarium after they shed? <sighs> Go to it and find out. You can purchase the uh, I heard Shed Aquarium the gift certificate. <laughs> What well, else do we have? We also have the African <laughs> Safari Wildlife Park. I've lots been and there. lots of hair that's there. I hear that's great. Really oh it? yeah, they, they stick, if you let them. No. <laughs> animals stick their heads <laughs> in your car. Not. They do too. And you can uh, pet them. It's it's either scarring What's the for weirdest your children tongued or animal you've seen? <laughs> tongued animal? Yeah. Well, the giraffe animal with the weirdest tongue. The giraffe is probably. Okay. It's pretty. Does he come in the sunroof? Weird. We're thinking about going there this summer. If you have a sunroof open. The rhinoceros will make a sunroof. If they think you have food, then there will be nothing that prevents them from trying food to... Food in a car with hey, kids? Never. <laughs> Come to the auction because you can bid on that, that great opportunity to have animals coming through your sunroof. <laughs> here are the tickets right here. To clarify, I'm not liable for any <laughs> issues that may come from animals sticking their heads in your car. Yeah, you pretty much said it was safe for anything. <laughs> it is so a lot snakes, of fun. bears. <laughs> Something your kids will gorillas, remember for a long bears, time. Bears, Zach. Bears. <laughs> we also have GourmetGiftBaskets.com that you've oh. given a gift certificate, so you can go on there and purchase anything. Maybe you want to buy a food gift for Andy, who always talks about food. What a nice <laughs> thing, Jennifer. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to. I just thought maybe they I'd would still want say to. thank you. <laughs> so that's just an idea of some of the things that have already been donated to the auction. And you can bring them to the station Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you're thinking about purchasing a, a car, well, donating your former vehicle is a great option. We'll provide you with a tax deduction at the end of the year. Just call so if you have any questions. TV 44 Auction is just one way we all partner together to reach the region for Christ. You know, another way is through the Spring to Life campaign. And we do want to take a moment right now to say thank you for your generous support. The campaign has been underway since the beginning of March, and we praise the Lord that he has exceeded our goal of $50,000. And we want to take a moment to say thank you. I have a few names, guys. I was just telling you I'm excited. There's a pledge here from Landeck, Ohio, which I went to Landeck School for uh, my early years of school, so it's exciting to see. I also have one from Brian, Indiana, or Bryant, oh, wow. Indiana, and just a reminder that we reach far outside the Lima area, so thank you for your support. I have one from Decatur, Indiana, that hey. comes from, with a praise. I received a good bite for a decent job. Thank you for your prayers. Awesome. It's needed a job, so thank you for that. Also right here in Lima, Mr. and Mrs. Johnny Kraft, and folks in Salina giving a generous <laughs> gift as well. Thank you so much for seeing the need for Christian TV here in West Central Ohio. And I have the exciting opportunity to announce, not only did we just slightly exceed our $50,000 goal, we just, we, you, together, we blew it over the roof, out the roof. Demolished it. We did it s over 64000 Metaphorically demolished the roof, because if we really did blow off the roof, then we'd probably ask for more money to fix the <laughs> roof. But we didn't. It's all done safely. <laughs> fix the roof campaign. <laughs> Well, we certainly want to take time to thank uh, Paul from Alger, Ohio, for his uh, gift, Diane from St. Mary's, and also a, a gift from uh, uh, Pat in Lima. You can thank you for your support in the weeks to come, and just a reminder, you can still donate anytime online at WTLW.com. It's safe and secure. You can also donate by mail, over the phone, or contact us to learn more about automatic monthly withdrawal. Well, before we go, we want to take a moment to again lift up our prayer requests for this week. We heard from you as you shared about your family members needing physical healing, our president, our nation, and the need for Bible-believing churches, plus many more. Zach, would you take a moment and just pray over these requests? Absolutely. Dear Lord, we do come to you today and first just praise you for all that you're doing in the lives of your believers and also the lives here at TV44 that you have proven faithful once again through the Spring to Life campaign. We do lift up each and every one of these prayer requests that we received, whether it's health related, family related, so many people looking to you to provide uh, for them and be faithful. And so we lift them up to you and we pray for our nation and our president as National Day of Prayer is among us, that you would um, just bring together the men and women who are to lead this nation, that they may 
uh, find their strength in you and look to you for the ultimate guidance for this country. We thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, you can also share your prayer request with us via email at prayer at WTLW.com. You can do it over the phone, 419-339-4444, or of course, by mail. We treasure those requests and we lift them up as a staff here weekly. With that, we prayerfully say it's time to say goodbye. It's been great spending the past 30 minutes or so together. Let's do it again soon, but before <laughs> we do, Mark, how about our scripture for the day? Yeah, let's go back to Psalms 128, 1 through 8. I look up to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He won't let your foot slip. He who watches over you won't get tired. In fact, he who watches over Israel won't get tired or go to sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is like a shade tree at your right hand. The sun won't harm you during the day. The moon won't harm you during the night. The Lord will keep you from every kind of harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your life no matter where you go, both now and forever. Hmm. Something to keep in mind this week as we all go through our daily struggles. Remember, Faith and Friends is off next week, but we'll be back again the week of May 24th. So until then, have a great week, everyone.